Wonderless Mommy. Um, today we are talking about one of my favorite products that I use to prep for my vacations. Most people always ask me, what do you use to get that summer glow all year round? And granted, I do live in California, but I am a California crybaby. So during the winter months, I stay in more often than not. So I get really, really pale um, and I have olive undertones. So um, what I normally use is this, which is the Jergens Natural Glow, and it's the Wet Skin Moisturizer. Mind you, I used to use the Jergens Firming Lotion. That was like my holy grail. But I've been using this product a lot. I found that the other Jergens Firming uh, Lotion had more of a like DHA smell to it. And I didn't like how it set, especially after a week. Um, it was really good for like using it for three days. It was a nice, consistent, gradual tone. But after a week, I found that it was became streaky and also blotchy. Now, a good alternative to that was also the Equate or the Walmart um, generic brand. And that one was a good alternative when I really didn't want to even spend $9. But I stopped using that one as well because of the smell, not only the smell, but it became streaky after a week. Now, this one. Love, I absolutely love this one and mind you I'm not affiliated I'm not sponsored this is a baby channel so I have like literally 25 subscribers no wait 29 29 subscribers so don't short yourself um so I mean I'm not this is my honest review I just wanted to give you this review because to kind of find something even cheaper than this and see if it compares or if it's up if it you know, puts this one to the challenge. So I've been doing my research and um, a lot of YouTubers were talking about this product, which is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion. And this one claims to be a self-adjusting color for natural looking tan, streak free for all skin tones, okay? So it, this one, it comes from fair to, fair to medium and medium to fair. So depending on your skin tone or your, if you're fair, you would choose the fair one. If you're darker, you would choose a medium to tan one. Um, so I wanted to try this one and this one is like a dollar cheaper at $7.99, but, but I went to Target and well, let me just show you this clip. Do you see that's on clearance? 374 originally 749 so let's try this out good deal right let's see and then here we have the jergens glow wet skin which is 8.99 so as you can see it was a sign i had to get it because it was like literally I looked at, you know how when you go to Target and you see a product and you see that little yellow sticker and you're like, oh my God, it's on sale. Let me go in. And yeah, it was $3.74. So originally I believe what you saw in that video, $7.99 or something like that. So I had to get it and I was like, why not? Let's start with this. So I wanted to see if this one holds up to this one, which is my favorite one. So that was the start of the Jergens challenge. I wanted to show you a picture first off of me without anything before anything like a vampire right here and mind you the left arm left arm is um the jergens and then the right arm is the banana boat okay so you can see there that was before anything okay now i'm going to show you a picture of the second day second day you can see here i posted a video and you can definitely see a difference i do look darker especially in my chest area you can tell the difference now i tried it on half of my body so i was kind of surprised that i wasn't being able to tell the difference in color that much that it was looking like it was literally the same product okay and then in that video um i'm not wearing anything on my face um i'm not wearing any makeup on my face right now either but the reason why i'm not i am not trying to look like a full on guy or anything i promise you that i'm just i wanted to show you that i usually use on my face to get my glow so in that second video i don't have anything so that's before the first application 
And then today is the third uh, Jurgen's Day challenge. And you can kind of see um, not too much of a difference. I mean, I can tell, I think maybe it doesn't transcend too much on camera, but in front of me, I can tell that I'm definitely darker and I have that glow. And then this, um, I should probably use the medium to dark, but I'm using the fair to medium because I'm impatient and they were sold out of the other ones, but I can still see that it gives me a little bit of glow. It's not intense, it's really light uh, moisture and it has um, 20 SPF and it's oil free. So drum roll, the verdict is in. Okay, so I kind of wanted to tell you pros and cons of both of them and tell you what I would choose in the end or if the banana boat, you know, the Jergens. okay? Number one, with the Jergens, you see a difference instantly. And I don't know if it's because this one you apply when you're wet and because of that it glides on and it glistens so maybe that effect is like that ooh ah smoke and mirrors effect where it kind of makes it seem like your skin is darker instantly now the banana boat isn't an, as instant i feel like you can see a difference maybe after 50 to 20 minutes um and even if you apply it a second time because it says you can apply it two to three uh hours after you would see you won't see a drastic different right away okay with that product um the smell so this is one of the things that distinguishes the products right away and it's one of the contributors to what i chose in the end now this product this is one of the reasons why i love this product is because of the smell now the old jergens and for anybody that used to love the old jergens you know that the smell wasn't that great so this one the smell is a lot better. Um, this smells a lot more like shea butter, butter. My daughter even said it smelled like soap. So it has a very clean smell to it. Now, the first day I tried it ever, the first day ever I tried it, I could kind of slightly smell the DHA the next day, but not really. Now I don't really smell it. And it just smells kind of like shea butter or coconut. It smells really good. This one, a bad smell, but it does have more of a chemi chemically smell. And the way I can describe it is more like of a shampoo smell, kind of. I don't know, like a hair product kind of thing. So it's not as good of a smell. And I will say, this one, I will, I can't smell the DHA. I can't smell like, it doesn't really smell like a suntan lotion product, which I was surprised, okay? So way they feel this that's another this is another reason why i literally just love this product is because of the way it feels even if it wasn't a tiny lotion product and even if it doesn't get you super dark the same day i don't care it hydrates you like a like a oof. it hydrates you okay it I even put my arms out um, so that my husband could touch them and feel and without even telling him what products they were I mean not like he would care um, he definitely went for the Jergens one um, he said that that one felt just like silk to him so he just loved it I love it has a lot of a uh, thicker consistency it is the it is still white same color as this one so both of them are pretty hard to put on um but i feel like this one has is a thicker consistency so i feel like i have to use more of it to cover my body and then around your knees or any crevices that dry quicker you might want to moisturize because this one will dry faster um this one is a lot runny so i would say this consistency is more like a soap like a body soap and you do not know how to put it on or aren't fast enough it might streak a little bit more just because it is runnier um and this one is thicker and remember that this one used to come in a brown um now it's dye free so it comes in a white color okay and i would say if you are more patient maybe you might go for this one because this one takes a little bit longer to put on it's thicker 
creamier, I guess. And then this one is more of like a runnier consistency where you definitely need to know how to put it on. You might get streaks. So both of them are okay prices. Um, I don't like spray tanning because it can get very expensive. And with the drugstore gradual tanning lotion, you can get that all year round for minimal price. So both of them are good price. Like I said, this one's $8.99. Um, it can vary. Target would be $8.99 and this one is a little bit cheaper. Now, if you can find it even cheaper than that, then definitely go for it. Even maybe stock up on it. This one is definitely better than the Jergens. I would say Fermi Lotion. This one is a good alternative though. Um, to it's even this one is better than the Jergens Fermi, just because the smell doesn't smell like the DHA and it doesn't streak so far. Okay. So this one, you literally just put it on when you are wet. You do not need to dry yourself off, and then once you put it on, you just pat and then go, okay? So it's very good for people that don't have any time, literally no time at all. And then, like I said, this one takes a little bit longer just because you have to wait for it to dry. I don't see that the transfer on your clothes is too much. I'm a very impatient person, so I literally almost don't wait. And I put on a white t-shirt afterwards yesterday after I put these on. So um, not too much, a little bit of transfer, but not too much. Just wait a little bit longer. Don't be impatient like me. This one, because it is runnier, it might be a little bit more streaky on your legs. So you really need to watch that and know how to apply it basically. Maybe apply a little bit faster or have a method of applying it. Um, this one has a thicker consistency and I found it a little bit less streaky. But again, that's because if you're putting this on wrong, it will look a little bit more streaky around the leg area. Now, final verdict. Hmm. Drum or... Okay. So... I would still choose this one. Um, the reason why I would still choose this one is because of the smell. I just love the smell. And number two, because of the actual hydration. Because it's not just a good gradual moisturizer or lotion, but it's an amazing hydrating moisturizer for your skin. And you definitely feel it, okay? And you can literally use this as your daily moisturizer, okay? Or you can just buy the other Jergens one without the gradual tanner if you don't want to do that now i will say this is a really good alternative like i said it's even better than the firming um jergens because after even four days of using this i don't see any streaking and that's very rare because i use like the more expensive brands like saint tropez um and actually i'm what i'm gonna do next and if you guys want me to try this put it down in the comments i'm gonna try the bonzi or the bonsai um gradual lotion i know that you can get at walgreens and i'm gonna put that one up to the challenge with this one because i've heard really good reviews about that one but like i said this is a really good alternative and i am saying that here right now that especially if you can find it for cheaper at target definitely stock up on it because the number one reason why i would is no streaking no streaking on this one okay but this one is just an overall i think just better product and i mean you can be the judge of it look at me I look almost the same color. So if you really want to save yourself a dollar, like I said, if it's a lot cheaper, then go for it because it is a good product, um, especially if you already have a hydrating lotion that you really like. So you can combine that with that product. But what I'm saying is that with this one, you get it all in one bottle. Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this. And if you want to see more reviews, please go ahead and comment down below. If you want to see the review or the challenge between the Jergens and the Bonsai, Bonsai, Bonzi, tell me if I'm saying it right. I don't know. Um, let me know down below. If you want to know any more products that I use before I go traveling or throughout the year, comment down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Wonderless Mommy. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you did, please subscribe. And happy Friday, guys. Like Rihanna said, cheers to the freaking weekend. Mwah.